going on everyone? We are back in Austin for one day. So I flew in last night uh, from uh, Salt Lake City and then I fly out tomorrow uh, with Muscle Tech to Germany, going to a big expo in FIBO. Uh, yes, I am covering up this brand because no free brand deals. <laughs> a little sticker on there. Uh, let me show you what's going on today. So uh, today's gonna be a high carb day because I've not had many carbs at all since last Sunday when I was visiting family was my last carb day. Today is Monday, uh, so I'm just feeling depleted and stuff. So I'm gonna have carbs later on today probably gonna have pancakes. Uh, I've been craving like breakfast food. So when I was down in Salt Lake City, every morning they had tons of breakfast foods. There was donuts, uh, waffles, all that stuff, but I didn't have any of it. All I'd have is a bowl of oatmeal in the morning and then working expos all day long in the morning doing cardio and then later on that afternoon working out. So I was just depleted and today's gonna be the high carb day to get my energies back up before going out to Germany. Look what i bought yesterday i got some headphones i got some beats uh because going on all these trips i needed some noise canceling headphones so we went to best buy and bought the beat studio 3. they sound pretty good they're pretty massive shelby said it looks like a brand deal for beats anytime i wear them throughout a workout stuff uh, because they're just huge but they sound really good and it does noise cancel so when i'm on a plane with all these kids and stuff i can actually sleep uh, about to go do some cardio right now. I'm gonna do some hit cardio. So I am taking this Aminos uh, Energy. I'm gonna have a scoop, probably in half of that uh, in my Muscle Tech bottle and then go do some bike sprints at the gym. Uh, and then this morning I had carbs. I had a bowl of oatmeal, like a cup of oats and just egg whites. So keeping the fats very low when I'm having this high carb day. So now we're about to head to the gym it is 11 o'clock, do about probably 30 minutes of cardio, get back and start editing some video because I am so far behind. And I know y'all are all missing Mr. Gainer. Gainer, sit. Okay, stretch out. Say hello to the camera. Say hello, they haven't seen you in a long time. Gainer. Gainer! Gainer. Gainer? Okay, he doesn't want to look at y'all. Oh, there he goes. Say hello. Say hello. Okay, about to get this hit session on. I'm gonna be doing 30 seconds all out bike sprint. So I'm going to complete failure. You should not be able to go more than 30 seconds and then resting anywhere from a minute 30 to two minutes. Doing that 10 times, I'm gonna be exhausted. So too many people when they do HIIT cardio don't do it right. So like I said, when you get done with those 30 seconds, you should be depleted. You should not be able to go for more than those a set amount of time. Your muscles should be depleted as well. So your legs should be exhausted after doing these bike sprints. Too many people, when they do HIIT cardio, they'll just go a little bit faster than what they were previous and just get their heart rate up. No, when I do it, I go all out to where I, my muscles are fatigued after those 30 seconds and it's gonna kill me. So let's go ahead and get this session going. So it's smart to warm up before doing your bike sprint. So I'm gonna get on here for around five minutes, just keeping the level pretty low around like eight and just cycle for five minutes, getting the blood in my legs, getting warmed up because if I just jump straight into doing these hard bike sprints, I could potentially hurt myself because zero to 100 real quick is not smart. So you need to warm up. Even if you're doing cardio, you need to do warm ups. done with that hit session I did 10 of those it almost killed me now I'm doing uh, some treadmill incline treadmill walking just to kind of cool down I have about I want to get to around 400 calories burned on my uh, tracker here and I'm right at 300 so that's gonna be right at like maybe 10 minutes of just steady incline walk I like to do this after a hit just to 
kind of, you know, like, like it's called, just kind of cool down because after that hit session, I was about to die. Oh, and these headphones actually stayed on really well. I was wondering if Beats were good for doing hit cardio. I'm not sure about sprints. I don't think they'd be great with sprints, but doing bike sprints, they felt great. They stayed on just fine. One thing about wearing these Beats, Shelby said my ears get crazy red. Can y'all tell? She said it's like when I get really, really mad at someone. That's what it looks like. So me and Shelby figured out tonight's plans. So <laughs> I'm making pancakes no. tonight after the gym, after uh, we go, I'm gonna work some legs today. But we decided that she's gonna pack me. No, we did not. <laughs> when I make the pancakes, because no. at first she was like, I'll make the pancakes. I'm like, no, I like making them. And she's like, well, I'm not packing. You're so good at it though. She really is, I'm horrible. Able whatever. <laughs> Tracked him really bad, <laughs> or he will kill me. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Works every time. Something in our trash can stinks so bad, and we just stuck it in there last night. Uh, I cooked some chicken and put one of those containers in there, but I didn't think it'd be you know any way possible. That stuff would already be stinking, but it stinks so bad. So about to head to the gym. Uh, gonna be working with legs. Shelby's gonna be working with us, so we are gonna be recording it. Um, Vapor X5 pre-workout. This is the Hawaiian Hurricane. My favorite flavor of pre-workout. Muscle Tech did like an exclusive flavor. This stuff tastes amazing and works great as well. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna head to the gym. It is uh, 4.20. So we're gonna end up making pancakes tonight. Uh, just box pancakes. Uh, we were deciding whether or not to go eat somewhere like at a, a nice, rest nice restaurant. A uh, very nice breakfast restaurant uh, later on today, but decided uh, since I'm leaving for Germany that I need to pack and everything. So uh, when I cook pancakes, Shelby's gonna be packing. <laughs> now we're sitting out in the car. Our little tradition before going to workout, we always sit here and I drink my pre-workout and just kind of think about the workout. Honestly, no, it's just like kind of dreading the workout. <laughs> Or Shelby does. She yeah. hates working out. Me, I like it, but Maybe I hate just starting. Sell me out. I hate starting the workout. That's what I hate. Like warm me up and stuff. I love working legs, but I absolutely cannot stand warming up on legs. Like doing squats and stuff. It's just I don't know, painful. Oh, I got new socks. Word. Pull bag. your shorts down. Woo! No, got new <laughs> socks. It was at the expo. This guy gave me some <laughs> headbands and line. some socks. My tan line. <laughs> My tan line is amazing. Hoops. <laughs> but. This guy came up to me when I was at the expo and gave me some socks and it's like some headbands. Uh, and it's some company there. I forgot what it is. So sorry because I can't shout you out. We'll just I don't tag even... them later. I'll tag you later. Yeah. So you'll see it somewhere on the screen. But yeah, pretty neat uh, socks and headbands. Uh, I've never worn headbands before. I wore it to the gym the other day. They look pretty good. Uh, you just have to get it completely right because my hair like sticks out of it like crazy. Uh, but besides that, we just got to get our little lazy butts and go into this busy gym because it is a Monday and everyone and their mother is in the gym on a Monday. What is going on everyone? So I've been seeing some comments asking for a new leg workout so I decided why not record a whole leg workout for you. Uh, as you can see, I'm putting on my knee sleeves because we're starting off with squats. Now, the knee sleeves here, I, I get people asking me, how do I put them on? So, why not record and show y'all? So, I fold them down on both ends and then pull them up on my knee as high up as you know they need to be. And then fold them back into place. I wear size large on, in the knee sleeves just to give y'all an idea because you want them really tight. Now, I did order an extra large and they were too loose. So, I uh, sent them back and got large and they fit great. 
Now, um, starting off with warm up. So this is all my warm up sets. Uh, nothing to failure. I do not take any of my warm ups to failure. I only go for probably around six to eight reps just to fill it out a little bit. Uh, get the blood into those muscles because every once in a while I'll start the workout differently. So I'll start it off sometimes with pre-exhaustion, with leg extensions or leg curls, but I wanted to get the compound movements in today. And so this is the first working set. We did five uh, working sets of squats. Now uh, I tried to hit around eight reps. So this is 315. I think I got like 10 to 12. So each time uh, I would take every set to failure, and if I went over eight reps, I would go up and wait in the next set. Uh, I'm not as strong this day as some days. Uh, as you know, I'm dieting, and when you diet, uh, and when you're on a you know calorie deficit, your strength will go down, and I've been seeing my strength go down through this prep, but that's part of it. But uh, lifting heavy and lifting really hard, you know that helps prevent muscle loss and uh, strength loss. So I'm trying to lift as heavy as I can uh, just to keep that strength as high as possible. Now after the 315 for one set I uh, decided I would do 375 and I thought I could get eight reps but uh, I could not. I only got five reps out of this 375. Uh, you know other days when I'm eating more calories and having more carbs I could do 405 for around six reps to eight reps. But because I've been so low carb and low calorie, I'm just depleted. So I was only able to get five reps. So the next set that you see, I actually went down in weight and finished off uh, the other, I guess, three sets with uh, 345. And this is the last set you're gonna see me do of squats. So this is on the fifth set. And this is actually a drop set. So on the fifth set, I did a drop set. So I just uh, went to complete failure on these squats, going down as low as possible. You don't see me go down, you know, really past parallel, uh, just because uh, I don't know. I just really don't feel it's necessary to go way past parallel. I go parallel and then go back up. The squatting shoes do help a whole lot. Uh, I bought these maybe I don't know four months ago. And these squatting shoes really feel great on squats and uh, leg press. Those are the main things I uh, use them for. Uh, so as you can see, I think I got like eight reps and then uh, went at it again with the 225 and just went to failure. Uh, if I do another drop set, so if I drop the weight again uh, to uh, 135, and uh, get around 15 to 20 reps, my lower back really starts to hurt. So that's why I just kept it to a single drop. If I do a double drop set, uh, my back will start to kill me and I won't be able to push throughout the rest of the workout like doing leg press and leg curls because my lower back starts to hurt. So after those five sets of squats, we went on to lying leg curls. We did five sets of around uh, 15 to 20 reps, just going to complete failure. And I didn't record it because uh, Shelby was actually helping me on these leg curls. Some of these lying leg curls, uh, I would actually have her uh, help help the reps up and then pull down to get a negative. So she would actually, when I hit failure, she would actually push that thing up for me and then push it down when I was just fighting that negative, just to really just burn out those hamstrings. After those lying leg curls, went on to one leg leg press. Uh, I did five sets of 20 reps on each leg. Uh, now, the reason why I did single leg is because Shelby worked out with me. So she did both legs with the same weight that I'm doing one leg. Uh, so it was just easier than me just pulling off the plates because if I did both legs, I would have to have, uh, I don't know, seven to 10 plates uh, total and you know no way she can do that so it would take us half the time just unracking and what you're watching right now is actually the last set uh, of the five sets I did a drop set so or a double drop set so I went to 20 reps went to failure and then had her drop a plate on one side and then I go to failure again then she drops the other side and then I put the weight back on there and then do the other leg of course uh, now, what one leg leg press is great for is really focusing on the hamstrings and glutes. So you can see my foot placement is pretty high up on that leg press. So that really engages my hamstrings a lot more. 
uh, because uh, squatting really focuses on your uh, quads. So after doing uh, you know the squats, a lot of squats, I wanted to focus on more of the hamstring. So that's why I had my feet high and then did that one leg uh, leg press. After the leg press, went on to stiff leg deadlifts, did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. I kept the weight right at 225. Uh, because if I go too heavy on stiff leg deadlifts, I feel that I'm engaging my lower back too much and I don't really feel it in my hamstring. So I go up in weight as heavy as I can until I don't feel it in my hamstrings anymore. So I try to pick that perfect weight and for me about 225 is that uh, sweet spot. So after those uh, stiff legs went on to seated leg curls, uh, did four sets now, I don't know if I said if how many sets. Yes, I did on the uh, deadlift. Sorry, got confused. So I did a super set with the seated leg curls, did four sets, uh, 15 reps of the leg uh, seated leg curls, super set with one leg leg curls with this machine, and did 12 reps on each leg. So that was four sets. And that was the end of the workout, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, this leg workout. It's been a while since I've shown you all a different leg workout, but... Uh, I'm going to be getting a lot more videos out there, so guys, stay tuned to the rest of the video, and I hope you enjoy it. Back home from the grocery store, and we got everything we need for pancakes. Uh, so let me show you the macros on pancakes and why I do them. So during a high carb day, which really today is a refeed day because I've not had carbs since last Sunday. Today's Monday, so it's been a long time, and I'm flat as a pancake. I can't get a I can't get a pump in the gym. So all the videos I'm seeing that I record and stuff, I'm just tiny, or I feel like I'm tiny. So this pancake mix, you only add water, so no oil, so it's very low in fat uh, for a per serving. Uh, is one gram of fat, 39 grams of carbs. So tons of carbs, pretty much no fat besides one gram. So we got this, I'll just be making a lot. So I'm targeting for around 300 to 400 carbs a night because like I said, I'm just fully depleted. We also picked up some granola, blueberry granola. Uh, this is only two grams of fat, which is insane for granola. Most of the time they have around 10 to 15 grams of uh, fat. But this one uh, in particular has, you know, very low fat. And then got some Mr. or Mrs. Butterworth's sugar-free syrup. Syrup, you'd be surprised how many calories is in syrup. It's ridiculous. So this uh, macros for one fourth cup is only eight grams of carbs uh, and let's see zero fat. Uh, if you got regular syrup. Uh, per serving would be probably around 75 grams of carbs. It's ridiculous what uh, that has in it. So all this toppings and then we also got bananas. I'll be sticking in there and Shelby's gonna have chocolate chip. So we're gonna go ahead and make all this food because it is 7.30 and we got a lot to do tonight. So the pancakes are done. They look so good. I've been craving this for I'm telling you so long. So finally able to eat some pancakes. Let me show you. Look at that uh, masterpiece. So we got strawberry uh, topping. This is in the refrigerator or freezer section. It's just dessert strawberries. Uh, and we just heated them up in the microwave, put some granola on top, and these are the blueberry pancakes. And then uh, after the blueberry, I can restock with uh, banana over there. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna eat, honestly, uh, just until I get full. Uh, and then uh, we also bought, uh, Shelby was like, hey, what goes good with pancakes? How about some hash browns? So we got some hash browns right here. And the macros on those were actually really surprising. It had zero fat and just carbs. I don't remember how many carbs, but it's just like having a regular potato because you're supposed to fry it in oil, and we didn't do that. So it's just zero uh, fat. So just awesome macros for a high carb day. Now, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna be able to tell you what my macros are on this day because I'm not tracking. Honestly, I'm just not tracking. I've been doing this for so long and I haven't had carbs for more than a week. 
I can do this and still lose body fat because I've been doing it for so long and I know what I'm doing. For a lot of people that are new to dieting and fitness and stuff and haven't been doing it very long, I do not suggest you just eating like crazy and eating just unlimited amounts of carbs without knowing what you're, tr what you're eating because that can potentially just ruin all the progress you made. For me, this is not. This is actually gonna help me, give, give me energy. It's gonna help me burn more body fat because I'm getting my glycogen levels up, my energy levels up, and I'll be able to work out harder, and it will help me replenish everything that I've been depleting for over a week. So guys, like I said, don't do this if you're new to the game. I mean, you can have pancakes, but don't not track. So track them, make sure it fits in your macros, and then you can have pancakes like this, uh, like, like Shelby's. She has two pancakes and limited herself to two pancakes. Me, there's no telling what I'm gonna eat here. So now we're doing the dreaded packing after uh, eating pancakes, and yes, if you can hear that, that is Impractical Jokers. One of my videos, someone commented on it. it, was like, oh look, they're watching Practical Jokers. Yeah, we watched that. So Shelby's in here packing, and guys, I have been helping packing too. She's not been doing it all on her own. Uh, so on this trip, I can only bring two check bags. Oh, sorry, one check bag. All the rest of the trips, China, Dubai, uh, Sweden, I could take two, but this time, to Germany, I guess because I'm flying United, uh, they only allow one, and it's a hundred dollars if you take two. So I'm trying to pack everything in this, and this is all my shoes. So this is the gigantic sled bag that I have. I have my Converse, my white Nikes, uh, Yeezys, and my black boots, and a clothes are going on that side. Two carry-ons. This is gonna be one carry-on, and then I have a backpack. Uh, so trying to get all this done. It's hard to do because we are actually washing clothes and drying them because, you know, as you guys know, I got in last night or yesterday and then we just had today to wash my clothes that I brought to the other expo and then repack them. So didn't even have time to put them up in the closet before having to repack again. Well, we're done packing for the night and it is 11.40. Oh gosh, at least my flight is not until like 10 o'clock so I don't have to get to the airport super early. I think I need to be there around probably eight o'clock or leave here around eight o'clock. So we're gonna go to bed here. Uh, we packed up as much as we can. The rest of it's hanging up to dry and then tomorrow I'm gonna just throw it all in my bag. So I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give the video, my hand's caught over here so I can't do the thumbs up, but give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. All right guys, peace.